Tell me the first time you met MJ. So every scream, so when I would go to Chicago, I would stay at the house. I come through the gate, Mark is like, bro, why the fuck are you wearing Reeboks in this house? Oh, oh, so, God. you know my dad was in that shit and wild out. Like, it was AI, the braids attached, the reason, like, right. Chuck right. is it for me. I wake up the next morning, get up. <laughs> Who's this? <these? laughs> Marcus' dad took those, took them questions. Marcus' dad, Marcus. Yeah, dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yo, he took them questions, bro. If you watch the the, the, the documentary, you know who John Michael is, yeah. the older with the white hair yeah. that was right next, right. right next to Mike. John Michael, massage, pop, put them on. I ain't never seen them eyes since that day. The motherfuckers gone. Welcome to another installment of the Underground Lounge. We are still, we're here in the world famous, legendary Magic City. So it was only right when I was in town, I called my brother who's been here as long as I've been coming in here for 20 years when we weren't supposed to be in here. We was in here though. But we was in here. We was in here though. My brother, Shaw Moss, AKA Bow Wow. What's yeah. up, fool? Ah, what's happening? How what's you up, doing? I don't know, what else, man? What up, Pimp Juice? You good? <laughs> Come on, man, absolutely. What's new, man? Why you looked all thugged out? What's going on, bro? I'm chilling, this, this, is my, this is my strip club attire. Okay, yeah. okay. You know, hoodie. This that day shift. I love day shift. Yeah, day shift is my favorite. We were talking about day shift earlier. It is, yeah. the best. Uh, uh. A lot of people don't best. know about day shift. Yeah. Day shift the best, uh. I mean, for me, because you come in the vibe with the with the motion within the club, you know what I mean? You want to, you spending your dollar, your hard earned mm -hmm. money, you want to be able to have some conversation, you might want to kick back, get some hookah, chill, get some food, watch the game. You can't do that on a Magic Monday at 1.30. It right, get crowded, right, right. It, get lit. It, it, it ain't no room for that. Who's the longest lit. you was there? Because uh, earlier Lou said he was in here for a 12-hour shift before. I've been something? in here from three to three before. Like you didn't leave at all? <laughs> I didn't leave. I left, I left practice, yeah. I came over here to eat, Cause I listen, we, we was talking to Magic earlier, yeah. and I told I said you you know this is our neighborhood bar and grill, right? Absolutely. Like, this is our neighborhood sure. bar and grill. Yeah. So I left practice, I came over here, I got me some food, I'm kicking it, I'm bobbing. Next thing you know, it's seven thirty, the games is coming on. I order dinner, I get me another plate, <laughs> watch the game, I'm chilling, having a couple drinks. Then you know the ten o'clock game come on. Yep. The double header come on. The new girls come in. Guess what I do? Uh, I order another, another plate. plate. <laughs> <laughs> you did what I'm saying? So now we at twelve o'clock. By twelve, oh. it's rolling. Yeah. Mind you, yeah. I'm in here in basketball shorts, sandals. Yeah. I'm fresh out of practice. Have you you ain't never spent no day like that in here? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's been some magical nights in that, but twelve hours, nigga. That's like that's a flight to fucking. Do, yeah. Nah, not Dubai. That shit far. Dubai probably like you a little Yeah, that, that's like from London to LA type shit. That's, like, what that's, that's what we was talking about. That's what we was talking about Magic about, oh. like the environment, how he's made it so cool. Yeah. It just feel good in here. Yeah, nah, that's true. It feels like you at home. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, nah, you're right. I mean, look, I be having to tell like past relationships I've been in about the strip club and just how it is. Like they always think about the girls. Because they only I'm think like, about the girls. It's yeah. not about the girls. It's the staff that work here. It's, it's Mr. Charles. It's Wolf. It's you know the the, the bar. Hit that lady. The chef. Like oh, yeah, it's man, bigger than just. Listen, yeah, ladies, like, when your man come in and they come in, just understand. Us. Well, if they out of town, they might not understand. If it's out of town, <laughs> nigga, coming in, it's a lot different. But yeah. if you from the city, then you build your rapport with the people in the club, and it, it, like you say, it, it becomes like. You know, this is, what was the place to say by the bell they used to hang out at at, at, at the school? Uh, the, the, it was the diner, what was it called? The cafe, the, the, the base. I can well, see it, but I don't know. I know, know the school was Bayside, but right, right, right. wherever that was called, well, that's, that's Magic Club. That's what, that's what Magic is. Oh, cheers, is. cheers, like cheers. The there you go, yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. There you go, Nipsey's. Nipsey's, yeah, yeah, let's go to Nipsey's, you're right. right. There it is. Let's keep it black. Yep. Let me ask you, let me ask you, Weez, when when can you remember your first time in here? I can't. I remember my first strip club, though. Um, and I, oh man, that was like the downfall to my life. Since it ain't magic, <laughs> what, what year was this? How yeah, old this was This was, um, 06, 06, 07 maybe? Oh, you was late. <laughs> but you gotta think though, I like, you. but look, I done seen so many like, I not magic, I'm just saying just period, you period, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Just going to strip clubs. I done seen so many young motherfuckers 
a loud in the strip club. And I, I'm like, damn, why not me? I don't understand. I've been famous my whole fucking life. So right. I couldn't come into no club underage. It was going to get shut. They're going to know. Yeah, they're going to know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't been, listen, I've, I've done the dumb task of being young mm-hmm. and Bow Wow's height and toured with him. Right. Oh, yeah. Wow. What did y'all meet? Get on a tour bus. So I met, I met JD and, um, I want to say 0203, I met JD. Mm-hmm. And JD said, You Bow Wow age, I'm going to introduce you to Bow. Okay. And he walked me and introduced me to Bow. And Bow said, You that basketball nigga. <laughs> wait, wait. I thought we met. No, no. No, I thought it was the Jay Z concert. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, but you didn't specify it was the Jay Z concert. Right. Yeah, okay. oh, right. Oh, yeah. All right, let me put the. All right, yeah, yeah. You got to put the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to put the. They got to know. They got to know. They got to know. I didn't want to throw that at you. But. It was a Jay Z concert yep. that I went with with Mav Carter. Yep. Shout yep. out to Mav Shout Carter. Out to Mav. Yeah, yeah. And Mav took me to the concert because yeah. I met Bron and Bron told him to take me mm-hmm. to the concert. Yeah. And the first person that I walked to, yep. the first person that I saw when I walked in State Farm Arena, that was Phillips Arena at the time, yep. was JD. Okay. I guess JD had something to do with the production of the show. So uh-huh. he was he was sitting on the on, on one of the trunks right when you walk in and they were going over something and Mav walked me over and introduced me to JD. Really? Oh, wow. That's the first time I met JD. And me and JD started talking and we developed a relationship and from there he said, you bow our age. I'm gonna go introduce you to bow. Yeah. And he walked me to the back right. and introduced me to bow. Yep. And bow looked at me and said, oh, you a basketball nigga. <laughs> and we developed, and we developed the relationship from there. From there. And yeah. then like, we, you know, we, we from the north side. So, yeah. you know, that's where we, we came up in Atlanta. You know what I mean? Right. So that's, that's Gwinnett for those that don't know. So that, that built a whole nother connection. Cause yeah. I'm on, Gwinnett is like the biggest county in Georgia. So he on one side, I'm on the other side. So right. once we put that together, it was, it was over. That was running around. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Absolutely. Cause I don't know if a lot of people know, but I, I'm not people remember, but MTV Crib. You was on there, and I remember Lou Did you see his outfit? I don't remember the outfit. Hold on, hold on, I don't remember that fucking outfit. He had a half red, half white jersey. I big had old. A hey yo, you uh, remember the Listen, we about to like put the. No, they gonna the, the, they gonna yeah, be able to put it in there. <laughs> like, what I'm telling you damn, is, man. at that time, yeah. my outfit was fucking appropriate. <laughs> So you see, he had like a jersey skirt. That's what you saying. I did. <laughs> oh, it was crazy. Everybody had jersey Everybody skirts. Had skirts like that. Listen, and <laughs> this was so my crazy. first time on MTV. I had a two-tone do rag yeah. on, <laughs> but I took it off because I'm like, shit, I ain't Man. trying to be on MTV with no fucking no two-tone do rag on. That was hilarious, bro. You oh, that got, was funny. That was funny. At that time, did you understand what we were doing, or were we just fucking young and reckless? Um. I don't think we Tell were. Tell everybody how we almost went to jail. I need another shot for that one. <laughs> I knew. All right, so I'm gonna I'm 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 try to tell this story. Hey, hey, we hey can we get some shots? Shot? Can you tell hey, us some more this shots? This shit done turned into some shit. Hey, can we get some <laughs> shots? Some shots? Hey. So, you don't know. Don't incriminate like, us, nigga. No, no, I'm not. Yeah, I was gonna I'm, say, I'm, come I'm, on now. Let's so, <laughs> so, like I said, we was young, so it was hard right. for us to get in the play. You gotta think this, this is Lou Will, you know top high school prospect mm-hmm. in the nation, number one in the nation. So, all, so, I'm so. With, I'm hanging with Bow Wow. Right. Yeah, but we. I, I'm bubbling, I'm getting there. Yeah, he there. Yeah, I got like, I got like newspaper fame. Right. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like, right, right. That's enough shit, though. My yeah. shit didn't go outside of 285. Right. Man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. I done been locked in malls with this mother. Mm. Literally locked in the mall. Can't get out. Absolutely. Michael Jackson shit, pandemonium. Thank you. Like, oh, oh my oh, God. Oh, shit. That's, that's appropriate. Thank oh, you. Okay. <laughs> We're not editing that out. Neither. That's appropriate for what we got going on. No, no, no. Keep all of us. this is official. Absolutely. No, listen. Locked in Foot Locker. The, what do they call it? Gate? Mm-hmm. Gate down. Mm-hmm. We sitting on the counter watching a hundred girls our age looking at us. We looking at them. Ain't nobody moving. Nobody. <laughs> they won't that's leave. Right. We can't leave. We can't leave. <laughs> He ain't lying. He used to do some funny shit, too. I'm going to tell you the truth. This motherfucker used to want to go see his movies. Mm-hmm. Yeah. On the night they premiered. Mm-hmm. Yeah. In a crowded theater. Mm-hmm. And sit dead smack in the fucking middle I mean, you of gotta, the theater. You got to come up with creative ways to get the girls. We couldn't get into the clubs. So mm. we just going to call some pandemonium. We just, wow, you know. He used to do this. <laughs> Act like he ain't want to be seen, but knowing that we all want to be, be seen. seen. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Oh my God! It's my one. 
chased clean out of the fucking movie theater. That's funny as hell. I've had so many of these experiences with you. <sighs> Tell me the truth, man. What 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 is like like with that, like that, bro? Like like LeBron has been popping the majority of his life. He don't he don't know what regular look like. Yeah. Right. You another person that don't know what regular look like. I do. How? I do. Um because I try to maintain that balance. Like it can be like the, the smallest, the smallest things. Like me walking around my neighborhood. Like mm -hmm. I probably walk around my neighborhood every day. Like Monday through Friday, you can just see me randomly walking into a restaurant. But you like, in your neighborhood though. Yeah, but that's that's a lot for me. Yeah. With, like Dolo completely like by myself, free, no hoodie, no hat. You walking just, a dog or something? I'm, or you just not walk? even. I'm walking. <laughs> if I'm having a Zoom call, <laughs> I might. Is the dog. Nigga, that's a while, nigga. If I'm if I'm having a Zoom call, I might just be like, yeah, I'll go on my balcony, and be like, I just want to walk around the neighborhood and, and have my Zoom call meeting or yeah. whatever the fact. Like, I, or I go to Target. I still yeah. go there by myself. I, you know, so I try to keep some type of right. normal Normalcy, shit, yeah. like yeah. you know that's what I mean, within to keep me still grounded. Because you, you know me, you know me, you know I can. You know me, though. You'll duck off. You know me. Yeah, you'll duck off. You'll get, you'll but, go on, you'll go on your own. That's why I call yeah. my shit the underground. Right. And I'm blessed to live in a neighborhood that everybody is so used to me because I've been there so long. Right. I can go to Kroger and my flip flops. Yeah. I can See, go I like sit that. in my local restaurant. And they by know myself. it's a different type of respect. Like, and it's a different type of respect. You yeah. space, hey, man. All. Hey, good game. Right. Yeah. I, I fuck with the podcast, yeah. this and that, and they keep moving. Yeah. And they allow me to just be one of them. Right. Like, I do my own grocery shopping. I, I love to go to Puppets. That, like, I, I love it. Are you serious? That yeah. shit is fulfilling, Cause, bro. Because it gives me, like, and, and we like to cook. So yeah, it gives me, um, bro. it's like another piece. It, it's cook. like an escape. From everything that the world knows, I, I would cook, bro. not eat this nigga food. I just, <laughs> no, I just not not right now. I just, there's no way. Are y'all even sweating? Are y'all? Fuck that. You fuck up a baloney sandwich up. This nigga fuck a PBJ up. Nah, I use Instacart, bro. I don't even go to the mall. I only go to the store. But what do you order when you get Instacart? Everything. You know how to cook eggs? Yeah, I know how to do breakfast. Sausages, eggs. You cook chicken? You cook pasta? Nah. Oh, you, pasta. Can you make Alfredo? Because all you got to do is heat that up. Yeah. No, no, no. I mean, no, just no, not no, 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 like, no, like, no, you get your tomatoes, yeah, you, no, you do all that garlic stuff. and make no, your own no, sauce. No, 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 See, oh, here we go. Oh, I make my own sauce. I get, I get what sauce? Dressing, what what on, sauce man. do you make? Yes, I get that heavy whipping cream and I go to town, man. Oh, come you on, talk, man. That sounded crazy. Yeah, this but, you <laughs> you hey, yo. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> yo. Are oh, they going to hang me for that one? No, we're going to keep going. We're going to keep going. They're going to hang me for that one. Everything's not going to be cut. Hey, yo. That was crazy. Hey, listen. Hey, that was my fault. Don't worry about nothing. I got you. I got you. Don't edit it out. I got you. Let them get me. Don't worry about nothing. Speaking of kitchens. We are in the world famous Magic City. The McKitchen is popping behind us. Mm -hmm. You got the lemon pepper loose. You got the classic lemon pepper. I was jealous. You got lamb chops and rice. What do you order off the menu? Before, let, let's talk about that. Yeah. Because then I think I came in before you, and we both thrown a lot of money in this club. Uh, I was a little, listen. The circumstances got a, are different. Listen, they got a mural. I had a national scandal. But you had the fucking mural up before the scandal. You had a mural. I did. The little wings were cracking before mural. the pandemic. It's true. No, 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 I'm, trying to, I'm trying to figure out what. No, it wasn't. What did this nigga do? It was a. Hey, it was they a, bought my name. A new artist. I'm right. on the front the of the wall. These were a new artist, <laughs> and I had a hit record. Right. And they took off. Mm. I mean, that, my name on the wall in the front, but I ain't yeah. got a, a fucking mural. You like, you got a mural. I did. I deserved it for good or bad. <laughs> yeah. But back to what you were saying. Let's um, talk about the bad. No, for good, or, for good or bad, I deserve my mural. You do. But. But if my, you gonna order some shit, what am I going to, are you my ordering my wings or not? So this is what I do. I flipped it. So I, I came up with my own shrimp, right? And we spoke about this. Jesus, so nacho shrimp. My, my to-go meal and magic is French fries. I'm the only nigga who get the fried lobster bites out the shell, chef chop them up for me, like nuggets. Mm -hmm. I, I get and that. then I do the fried shrimp, but just not regular fried shrimp. It's a type of sauce. They put he, on these. He's dancing. Shrimp. They put the Lou Will sauce they put on that. his shrimp. Oh, hey, hey, say, say, he say, wanted say, to say, say we're not gonna do that. <laughs> he wanted we, to say that nah, he nah, nah. created the shrimp. Oh, right. Right. Absolutely. No, I called out, him. No. I said, let me tell you what I did. Shout out to Kenny. Shout out to Kenny Business. 100K Kenny. <laughs> 
We was in Magic. BM goes, yo. Those bro, are I his shrimps. I wonder how we, if we put the Shri sauce Kenny on the came shrimp. up with them shrimps. And now they call them goat shrimps. Now they call it. They the goat, goat shrimps. Huh? Goat, them is nacho shrimps. shrimps. They the goat shrimp, right? They the goat shrimps. Then let's split it, because I'm a goat and you a goat. There it is, boom. They not See? my shrimps. They Kenny <laughs> shrimps. So is Kenny the goat? No, it's the... No, but it's the goat sauce. But Kenny came up with the concept of let's put the wings put on, the on the shrimp. Yeah. I tell you what, that's, man. That's crazy. Hey, that's listen. Crazy. I get no. I get speaking no. of speaking of goats, a lot of people like to play on your name. We not one of them platforms that's gonna do that. We celebrate our niggas. And yes, we are. And you Psych. deserve yes, it. Yes, we are. No. <laughs> you deserve it because no stretch of life, when yeah. somebody can be at the top of their game and feed their family for 20 years, can you put any stains on that? Thank so, you, brother. I so. applaud you, my brother. Thank you, thank you. And I show you love. And with that, I want to bring in a new face to take us down memory lane okay. with some of your own memorabilia. Okay. You dig what I'm right. saying? And shout out new face. New face is a cultural historian, also a staple in the Atlanta community, but he's a Detroit brother. He's a Detroit player. Okay. But he do his thing. For whatever reason, at some point in his life, he decided yeah. to start collecting everything. And it's been monumental for our community. So we're going to bring in new face All to right. celebrate Bow Wow on an underground shit. lounge. Much love. Oh, Whether you're a world-class comedian or a podcaster like me, we all understand the importance of mental and physical well-being and understand that proper recovery for top-notch performance. That's why I'm excited that Unified Healing is sponsoring this episode of the Underground Lounge. Unified Healing is a new and super innovative global network of wellness centers powered by Energy Enhancement System or the EE System. If you haven't heard of the EE System yet, you'll want to listen up. This technology promotes wellness, deep relaxation, purification, and rejuvenation. Whether you're here in Los Angeles, in Philadelphia, Chicago, wherever you are, it's an access center near you. And make sure you understand that the Access Center is easy and affordable. We love affordable, don't we? Yes, we do. Interested in experiencing the EE system technology for yourself? Go to unifiedhealing.com slash lounge to learn more and find a center near you. That's unified, U-N-I-F-Y-D, healing.com slash lounge. No material or testimonials on the Unified Healing website are intended to be viewed as medical advice or a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Always seek the advice of your physician or other qualified healthcare provider with any questions you may have regarding a medical condition or treatment and before undertaking a new healthcare regimen, including EE system. Shout out to our guy, New Face from Detroit. Hip hop no. historian. Let's we get like, it. But we like to claim New Face is one of ours. One of ours. Okay. He, he, now, don't get me wrong. He represents Detroit loud and proud. Uh huh. But he one of us as well. He's he's been monumental to our community and what we do, hip hop, culturally. Mm -hmm. He's a historian, and when we talk about history, we talk about everything everybody's been able to accomplish. This brother right here, yeah. for 20 years, mm -hmm. has been able to be a staple in our community, mm. a staple in Ohio, a staple worldwide, and to still be here, still be relevant, still doing your shit. Movies, yeah. TV, music. Do rap. No, listen, not, I'm do not rap. one of the motherfuckers <laughs> that want to play with your name. I want you to be respected, yeah. and I want you to be celebrated how you deserve it, Thank you, because you earned it. A lot of people that got something to say, they've never done nothing for themselves. And you've been able to be a staple for 20 years. So we wanted to bring New Face in to celebrate you, my brother. He got some shit about like, He got a He got a New Face hey, got a New Face right here. Like he First said. of all, I love Detroit. Mm -hmm. Like I love Detroit. Why you love Detroit? Huh? Why you love Detroit? Yeah, we gotta hear the reason yeah, first. That's the reason. That's the reason because. <laughs> It might be the same reason why I like Detroit. Yeah. Man, it's bad. Listen, I love Detroit so I much. I like Detroit too. I love Detroit. <laughs> I love Detroit. <laughs> My last two exes. Hey, 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 I like that. that. Oh, hey, we're going there. Get, get, get. No, no, All no. Right, well, let me go there. No, I, I love went. Detroit. I'm going. Listen, listen, I love Detroit just for the simple fact. Number one, I was born in the Midwest, so. Mm -hmm. But Detroit is like, I, man. First of all, all the women in Detroit. Yeah. Get money. Like, I never seen so many women from Detroit. They got bust down roads, hey, parties, you said something long man, shit. Oh, like it's a different type of vibe in Detroit. Like I love that shit. No, like to the point where I got footage from the last party I hosted in Detroit. In Detroit, 
I did a house party. I crashed somebody's house in Detroit. They just walked in. I got that on my phone in Detroit. And I just left Detroit not too long ago. I just had like an event out there. So yeah. I love I love Detroit. For sure. and, and Lou talks about, you know, my hashtag is new face was there. And it's funny you bring up Detroit because one of my earliest memory now with you, but later on was birthday bash, right? And So So Def did a, a, an amazing show with everybody, but you were in Detroit and my sister went to your show and I'm like, it's yeah. no way Bow gonna come to Birthday Bash. I'm at Birthday Bash, So So Def, and he pulls up. I don't know how, I mean, it happened. Yeah, Cause yeah, you yeah. were in Detroit, had a show and he did Birthday Bash in the same Superstar day in real talk. So it's yeah. what, that was one of those moments that I seen yeah. it in real town and New Face was there. And like Lou said, I brought out some things to let you uh, know that we was here. Yeah, let's Just cry, and Make represent sure your here. life. You know, yeah. don't cry, brother. Does he do this on every episode? No, this is our first time having a new yeah. face. This is for you, brother. So I'm, this, this I'm is our inaugural a... new face moment. New face was there. If you know Atlanta, you know our culture. If new face wasn't there, it didn't happen. So what we got so here? Right now. Oh, we got an award-winning oh, film. We got right? a, that's a award-winning film right here, starring. I'm not gonna lie. We got the DVD. Hey yo, let me say something about this, right? <laughs> not about the movie, but about like the hit record that came from this. Like, it's so many people that think I created the song basketball. They think you created mm -hmm. basketball for Curtis Blow. That's why I got to perform yeah, no, that yeah. still. You know what I'm saying? At, at a game tomorrow halftime, but yeah, but this was Curtis Blow. Like everybody yeah. thinks that I created basketball the song. But and, your generation, your yeah, yeah. yeah. But no, no, I, like it's everybody. everybody and I ran When the last time you seen a DVD? At least a couple times a year, because when I do meet and greets, they bring all this oh, yeah. shit. That's you know my way with uh, 2000 babies, 80s babies. See, I not, I not only movie. had the, the movie, but we got the original oh, yes, poster, sir. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I got but this was special because it's, you know, that's one side, right? Mm -hmm. But this, then, this legendary. Look at, in hindsight, look at the Lou, people you know, that Lou, you know if you came out of high school during this time, you would have been in this fucking movie. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh whoa, we did it. And then you flipped this over, right? Yeah. Now this is oh, why, shit. This yeah, why I never put the, one. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh that's two like the street team, right? Shout out to Kadife. See? Kadife still oh, out yeah. here shaking yeah, the hell movie yeah. too. Yeah, he is, bro. So Damn, brought, this is a two for one. You put, yeah, you that's put, so deaf right there. That, you put the young ladies in a bad position to figure out which, yeah. which way they gonna hang out. Oh, no, it gotta go that way. Oh, this big, yeah. yeah. Come on, man. That's come so, on. And then Some we girls don't care about the best small players. That's go to me right there. That movie is another uh I remember this. Ozone Magazine. Ozone, Ozone Magazine. Magazine. Shout out to you, man. Shout out to A Sound. Bow right there. Still with your hats right there? <laughs> this is when you was on your T.I. hat shit. All right, stop. You was trying to figure it out. Nah, nah, you was I, trying I, to I got tip the hat. The tip came into my life. <laughs> we started working with it, you know what I'm saying? Working with each other. You know, but uh, well, well, we got Ball this. Ball like that. that. You was fly that hat. No, no, this is one of my favorite photo shoots See? ever. This, this was in New York. I did well, this in New York, I, um, I believe on Chelsea. Yo, these bitches. Oh, I'm so sorry. Nah, don't be sorry. <laughs> Look, don't be sorry. Now, nah, this is one of the, yo, nah, listen, this is one of the dopest photo shoots I ever did. Why, nigga? Come uh, on, spin it out. Was, um, How old was you in? I don't know. But <laughs> I, I can tell you. But I know like, what album this was. This was my one album. This was like, like, like you, Fresh you As I like, Is, Let Me Hold You. Yeah. This was this that's, album. That's 17. Yeah, it could be. I, I remember because Fresh As I Miss, when I was in Philly, right. I was like, yeah, yeah, right. Then, yeah, he, right. But look, yeah, yeah, right, right, right. this is like, like I would be lying if I didn't say, like, I've, I've been on Google trying to find, like, this specific picture, photo. And look yeah, how new it is, because, right? It's so me because look, I'm, a, I'm you, a, And he trying to tell you, stop creasing his not, shit. No, I'm not. <laughs> nah. It's so new, right? <laughs> Listen, we'll, we'll call, we'll call that we'll another <laughs> one. But look. <laughs> Because like this shit is probably the only photo shoot that I did that really describes like Bow and Shad at the same time. Like Shad is a stay at home nigga that like to play video games all day, but then the women like just that's oh, the Bow side. It's like I'll do some shit like this right now. You gotta remake this. You gotta remake that. Well, nah, I can't so duplicate that. It's different now. Come on, nigga. We got shit more shit. And come I signed on, come it. On. See, come on. New face was there. I signed it. New face was there. That's my signature. <laughs> No counterfeit here. And I brought this one out because I know this was important because you were a part of this family early that's on, right? And this is a very that's, that's rare. Unk, that's this is the original yeah, yeah. This is the original yeah. cover. And, and that's Unk real signature. The most expensive vibe that you will find on that on, on ever. Like a dad signed that one. Oh, that's our corrupt. But that's hard. you were a part of this. Absolutely. Correct? Absolutely. Okay. hundred percent. That's amazing, man. hundred percent. 
Yeah. And How my, old was you when you were outside with that bro? I was like six, seven. Sheesh. But what's crazy, like the one like 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 the one thing that's missing from my career, like when I look back at like at my career, I'm not gonna lie. When I look at this iconic photo, like this magazine. I wish I was like every bit of 13. If I was 13 during this time, it. like if I was if, in the age height. of Jermaine popped me up, yeah, yeah. yeah. I would have been in this photo for sure. Yeah. Hey, new and, face, all subjects. I wanna I wanna ask you, bro, how did you get in? How did you start collecting? That's crazy. Because I, I feel like your first piece you don't really understand. Yeah. Or did you always have a mind to No, so my first my father took me to my first rap been show. That, if I was 13, in Detroit at Cobo like Hall. My first pop, and I so been that was photo. I got there, it was three white boys on stage. This was Beastie Boys. Okay. Then we get to the part where it's a dude on the radio and that's LL Cool J. Yeah. And the last people was Run DMC. And they told me, everybody got Adidas, put your hands in the air, or shoes in the air, right? Mm -hmm. So my father took me and my cousin to the mall and bought me the Adidas and the tracksuit. So it was at that, that was my first show, it was Run DMC, LL Cool J. But I kept that ticket stuff. This is the yeah. 86, Cobo Hall. So that was, to your question, the, the start of the love of the hip hop and collecting the things. And, and when I look at one thing, I have that memory, like when I, I, I always remember coming out. I see these all the time. This. Yeah, I see these all the time. Buying, buying this. I remember yeah. going to the store like when this dropped, buying these type of things. I remember buying this. this. I wasn't. I ain't know you then. See? And yeah, we, we got. Hey, listen, we, still got we stuff was having in this conversation, bro. Damn. We still got hey, stuff. Hey, you got one of them industry agencies, man. No, we, we still got we stuff like in the rap. Man, man, that was crazy. crazy. We've been collecting yeah, for years. Hey, by the way, can we just talk about like how like this era and like the era like they don't have like I adjust. You know what I'm saying? Like we was just talking. We are gonna get into like the new stuff that we got going on and whatever. But this is when you really had to sell. Like this was this is no mm -hmm. streaming. This is no oh, yeah. Apple you, Music. No. copies. And this yeah. is me and going to is, Tower Records at Lex right. at yeah, 12 o'clock on a Monday this trying is, to meet Bow Wow. And this is we had to announce the date and we announced it. If you really got fans, they're yeah. gonna go and grab it. You know what I mean? So this is like no, this. Knowing the yeah. credits and knowing what studio yeah. who was yeah. at. That's why patchwork was important to me. A DBS sounds because yeah. I see these names in the, yeah. in the credits. Like I think when I drop my next album, I wanna now we're in a digital form. I wanna do this digital. Because niggas don't do this no more. Right. Nah. But like when you buy my album, I want you to get it. Even if you swipe, right. Right. swipe. Right. 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 You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, CD. Right. What's that classic You got the song, promo right? CD. Promo. That's, that's a, a promo CD. From the radio. You know, I, I was about to just say this had a couple of radio. See? I swear to God. One or two tracks on it, right? No. No, it had the every, single. Listen, every, the every one. nigga in Detroit touched this CD. Yeah. yeah. I don't, every <laughs> nigga in Detroit touched this <laughs> CD. That was the one that went around the block. <laughs> every nigga in Detroit touched this CD. That's but this mother got so many prints on it, boy. Yeah. <laughs> but it's original, though. Wow, man, this is that's crazy. The original shit. And just, uh, once again, another new face was there moment. We got, look. This is Michael Vick's celebrity game and wow. my daughter who's now 25 wow. and has my grandchild. Wow. But, but that's crazy. You fucked me up with that one. <laughs> wow. so, that's crazy. That's my daughter right You got there. that roll bounce cut on this I was, one. I, this was right before was roll bounce. I was about to get ready to do it. I was, we I can was tell, right, nigga, yeah, yeah. that's the whole face. Yeah. What, what was your name <laughs> in roll bounce? Xavier. Uh, yeah, you See? Zay Zay right here. <laughs> Zay Zay. <laughs> you little Zay Zay right here. And then lastly, we got a, uh, another iconic. You know, I had this in my house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one right there. This is dope. Nice. I this remember brother. that one. Y'all sleeping um, at this one. Nah, we wasn't. This was uh -huh. um, my first and only source cover ever. And this meant a lot to oh, me because, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, coming in as a kid, probably no different than how cast is in the NBA. Like, when you come in young, the vets probably look at you as a certain way or, you know what I mean? You just feel like you're not getting your just due. So for me, I always felt like because my, my audience was female driven, I had to like really work extra, extra hard. So when I got the source, this meant everything to me. This is what we read mm -hmm. before I was famous, all the iconic covers before I ever graced the cover. Like being a rapper to get a double XL or a source magazine well, cover well, meant you are yeah, that was the man. Hip hop. That was the hip hop yeah. bible. Right, yeah, right. that was slam for us. Slam exactly. For basketball. Yeah, was slam. Slam. You had that out of high school. I yeah. had no. I didn't get my first slam cover until um, shit. I want to say 18, 2018. Yeah. The one with the Clippers, right? Oh, the one shit. with the three, three of y'all. Yeah, no. With that the blue. Was, that was my first. Yeah. Oh, your soul. By myself. With the green yeah. forest. I think we got the one with all of us on it, and um. Yeah. 2021 when Kawhi and PG came mm -hmm. over. But I got my first original in 18, which was 
Pop or it's each year oh, in, a, in, yeah, in, a, in the NBA. Yeah. It took me 14 and, and because years of, to, get I know I'm double, to get so my double look, XL look moment, this. to get my slam. So look, some that people might not know, I'm going to drop a gem, and I never said this. But if you look at the wardrobe, it's like 80s inspired dope boy, right? Right. Right. But, right? When we shot this, when we did this photo shoot, this cover. Um, Where was this? Shoot, this was at the original Carter. This was the Carter in New Jack City. Oh, wow. We oh, shot yeah. this on the front stoop of the Carter in Harlem. Wow. No cap. Mm -hmm. No cap. So this shit is like extra, extra monumental. Yes. Like this is probably one of the most slept covers ever. Like I don't think a lot of people know that, but we shot this at the Carter. And you no, see, it's already no. signed. I'll be, yeah. I, I be outside. Yeah, right. you know, and I signed that myself. <laughs> no, we was outside of Rose Bar. It was like 2 in the morning. Two he was morning. coming out of Rose Bar. He, <laughs> he was like, what the fuck are yeah. you doing with this here? Yeah. And then because of, I brought other covers because I know these people play significant roles in your life. Yeah. And I know you probably appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. And well, yourself, yeah. basketball. Yeah. Birdman signed this. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And these well, are dope. because of you. These are back. You remember what you know about Dime? Dime magazine. Dime. Source, oh, Source yo, Sports. To, yo, what you know man, about Source I, Sports? Wow. And then man. because you're a comedian, I know you would appreciate these. <laughs> <laughs> well, some East Side of shit magic. Wow. That's crazy. So, so you gotta tell me from a comedic standpoint. Wow. And we got well, who? Who first movie? Right. Kevin Hart's wow. first movie. Facts. Damn. Signed by Kevin Hart and Dame Dash. Wow. And Delirious. We all seen that. Yeah, that's yeah. crazy. Both of these raw. Every, I mean, everything. I saw Paper yeah. Soldier. And, and these you boys were part of your the, the, million, the new tour. Yeah, shout out to my boy Pimpin. Yeah. Franchise boy, shout out to Pimp. I, you know what I mean? This is my brother right here. I love Draco. And then. Love Soldier. Tell me about what it was like working on this album right here. Shout out to Rome. No, I never. <laughs> So out the room, man. He definitely get love. That's my little brother, man. He, and he man. always show love. Absolutely. Coming behind these guys and putting on. Yo, I despise Chris Cross so much growing up because, like, being on death row, we were so competitive, and like, they was training me. Like, I was really like a at six, seven. I was like a rat. Nick, like then West you Coast got traded nigga. to that team. How that work? But look, but I didn't know who JD was. That's the funny part. Like my mom, I was on the football field. Look, after the whole LA death row shit, I went back to Ohio. My mom, my mom ran up on the fence. She was like, "Yo, be leaving for Atlanta tomorrow." And I'm like, "For what? You want me Jermaine Dupree?" And I'm like, "Man, we, I, I spent like three years in LA. I ain't nothing pop. I'm you over. didn't really know who JD was. I didn't was know who that Jermaine Dupree was. Uh, yeah. Did you know but Chris Cross? Uh, I knew who Chris Cross was. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? But I didn't, you, you gotta think, at that bro, we the biggest. Yeah. So why are we paying attention to anything mm -hmm. outside of this? Right, right, right. It was us versus whatever. So when he picked me up from the height, matter of fact, we flew out the next day. I was in the hiding bucket. The same height that's still there. Across my ice box. I'm sitting in the room all day. I'm like, man, who like why are we sitting in the room? We just gotta sit who this thing got us. Nigga pull up in a Bentley, a hop in, right on the college park. Nigga had like 11 cars lined up in the back. It felt like a recruitment for a high school play. Wow. That's what it felt like. Saw them cars. Zaddy had my like two little bad bitches. I'm like, nah, this nigga did. This is the like, reason I think I ever seen in my life. And I, so, nah, I want his life. You nah, so. fuck that. I want to work. Let's go. And it was over. It was over. Yeah. You want to, I'm going to tell you my story about how I felt like I was responsible for, oh, I think they like me reading this. I, I never heard this, ever. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm going to tell you how I feel like I was responsible oh, for that, right? Let's go. So JD, JD hit me say, hey, pull up to the studio. I want you to hear something. And I, I guess he, tra he understood. I, I, I wasn't you, but we was the same age. Yeah. And he probably wanted a different opinion outside of you. Mm, yeah. So I pull up to the studio. He say, uh, jump in the car with me. You know, JD got the baby blue band. Lou, you old. Yes. Hey, he know I, that. I've been around, around as long as you. <laughs> no, nigga, you're old. <laughs> if you remember JD, you. baby blue mm -hmm. bands, you're Dang, old. That had to be yeah. old. No, you, no, no, I understand uh, that. Right, so right, you, know, you know I ain't bullshit yeah. now. You know I ain't bullshit. <laughs> so this is before or after you came? No, no, we, we old, blue. we old, like, but, but, but the fact that he remember that car, he old. I'm gonna give y'all a Darryl, double barrel JD story. Mm. So he, he has a system in his baby blue bins that Facts. he likes to sample, the, not sample the music, but listen to it. Yeah. 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 So he's playing records from the um, the So So Deaf compilation. Correct. Pastor Troy. Uh, Young Flying Flashy. Young, Correct. I'm hot yeah, yeah. and I'm bad. R.I.P. Ra Ra. And he say, oh, I think they like me. 
for the last song. And I'm, I've heard the song before, but I'm listening to the remix. And Val comes on, I'm under 21 with a black card. Yeah, I said, oh line. my God. <laughs> yeah. Mind you, I am under 21 with a black card. He knew who to get in the car with him to say, this, this the one. This is gonna register, right? Right, right. Mm, that and was I the said, hardest line. I said, JD, that's, hard line. Hardest line. that's that shit right there. Now let me tell you about where we went. Uh -huh. We went to JD crib, right? So you know JD old house. His yeah. kitchen and his island. The palm trees, the line of palm trees. The line okay. of palm trees. <laughs> so his kitchen and his island is parallel to his living room. Correct. Right? But he got a he got a TV in the kitchen, right? Correct. So he like, yo, I'm gonna run upstairs, get myself together, I'll be back downstairs. Boom. A woman comes downstairs, she got a hoodie on and a hat. Miss Jan. Hold up. Oh, <laughs> he, 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 he's lived this movie before. She got a, listen, she got a hoodie this on and a hat. recruitment process. He give her a kiss. My first thought, I'm a young stupid nigga. My first thought was, this nigga cheating on Janet. <laughs> <laughs> that's my first, that's my first thought. That's my first thought. So she sits at the island in the kitchen. I go and sit in the living room. But the chef is cooking while JD is gone. Did you eat? Of course I okay. ate. So the chef gives her a plate, brings me a plate. So I'm eating in the living room. She's e eating in the kitchen. But the same thing is on both TVs. Right. So we talking shit back and forth. Looking at different about, TVs. <laughs> we on different TVs, but the same program. So we laughing like, that shit crazy. You see that? Like, but mind you, I've never seen this lady. She's been like this the whole time. Maybe an hour ago by, JD comes downstairs. Lou, we out. Cool. I get up. They're they're hugging each other. So I'm just standing there waiting for them to be done. Mm -hmm. She kissed him again. I said, "This nigga is cheating on Janet." <laughs> I just remember thinking to myself, right. "He cheating on Janet." And she turned around to me and she said, "What was your name again?" And she turned around and I looked Penny dead in her eyes. Wow. I spent an hour with Janet Jackson and didn't even know it. And didn't know it. Damn. Had casual conversation with Janet Jackson. He didn't watch and wrong with you, didn't know it. What's wrong with you? Wow. I, I, I was a little naive. I'm not gonna lie, time. bro. I could tell like it's not a lot of people that seen and live the shit that we've seen. Like yeah. when you say that, you have me thinking about moments of my life where I'm like, damn, I've been on private jets with JD and Miss Jane going to ask me. Like and it's as normal. a young nigga, normal. like yeah. yeah, like conversation where Miss Jane was telling me about like and certain you girls that I was Janet. dating at the yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Janet. She called her Miss Janet. Yeah. <laughs> Is that really what you call her? Yeah, yeah. I is yeah. <laughs> but look, I, I, I call I, I call MJ Mr. Jordan though. That's MJ to me. No but, disrespect, no, no, but, right, right, but, right. but you know why? Because of Marcus. Because during the screen tours MJ's kids were always anytime in Chicago, yeah, so they would come. Tell so me the like, first time you met MJ. So every scream tour when I would go to Chicago, I would stay at the house. I come through the gate. Mark is like, bro, why the fuck are you wearing Reeboks in this house? Oh my so God. you know my dad was in that shit and wild out like it was AI. The braids attached the reason like right. Chuck right. is it for me. I wake up the next morning. Get up. <laughs> Who's his name? <laughs> Marcus' dad took those, took them questions. Marcus' dad. Yeah, dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, he took them questions, bro. If you watch the the, the, the documentary, you know who John Michael is. Yeah. The older with the white hair yeah, yeah. that was right next, right. right next to Mike. John Michael. Massage, pop, put them on. I ain't never seen them offices that day. The motherfuckers gone. People don't understand, like. He's competitive with anything. Yeah. And he talks shit yeah. with anybody. Like every time you see me, he be like this. We ain't gonna grow short shit. Yeah. You know, the same size, <laughs> short shit. Like it's like, yo, bro, like. Hey, the first time I met him was at a, Kev uh, was hosting an event for him. Uh, the event was like a, it was like one of them uppity type of events. <laughs> uppity, <laughs> uppity. So Kev up there, hey, 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 hey. You wanna get another, so he said, all right, well, it's all about you, MJ. Hey, MJ, what's up with your mustache? We start going in on MJ. 
Bro, MJ didn't laugh None. for the whole night to suck it. What do you say? Same thing he called you? Little shit. We're gonna talk about this. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. I'm telling you, bro. Listen, he had he had yo, he had brought shit. Yo, you know Bart, fuck that, I'm gonna say his name. Bart don't fan out for nothing. I'm telling you, when we went to Marcus Grand opening in Orlando for the, the oh, truck room store, oh, exactly. no, Bart says, ask him. I'm like, bro, what the fuck is wrong with you? Bro, we're back in the family room for a reason. Just bro, ask him, bro. No, 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 no. I know he don't, he don't do things. You gotta do it. Do it, 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 do it. I'm like, nigga, just ask him, bro. I'm like, yo, this is, you know, Nah. Hey, move, short shit. This is my boy. I got him. I got him. All right, move out of the way. Move, nigga. Move out of the way. I, I, yo, he talked to me like I ain't shit. Who, who's one person that he was like, oh, that was a, that, that was a moment? Mm -hmm. I probably missed a drawing when I met him. There ain't been nobody since. I think because it's my life. I've been so used to this shit. Like, I don't really. It, it, it's, 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 facts. But that wasn't a wild moment. Like, for me, like. A wild moment That's for me was, put, put it this way, I can, this this really wasn't like top of the top, but it meant a lot because for me to, bro, we all been in, in a school room, in a classroom before. Yeah. Social study class, we're reading about this president, all these presidents, right. for a nigga to come from Ohio, by, by way of Ohio, but raised in Atlanta, yeah. me, to get an invite to the White House, for me to meet this nigga, like, to leave all my classmates, y'all gotta read this book. That, on, I think I've been on, in the White House. Dude, I got, on, bro, on, I can describe, on, yeah, yeah, I can describe on, the White House you to you right now. You went from Mr. Jordan no. to this nigga talking about Obama. <laughs> oh yeah. No, listen. It's a reality. No, 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 look, no, no, look, 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 look. Oh, it's fucked up all the way. Listen, no, we used to sit in social studies class and learn about these presidents. Yeah. So you gotta think, bro, I was just a regular kid. Then like nobody in my classroom didn't think that I would make it like, then right. I make You're it. You're supposed to know this black people. We're 44. We're 44, right? Then I make it in the White right? House <laughs> and meet the nigga. Yeah. And, not meet, I'm sorry, meet Pope. Meet, <laughs> meet, <laughs> yeah. meet, meet the nigga. From Mr. Janet to Mr. Jordan yeah. to this nigga. <laughs> no, Mr. <laughs> Blood. Fuck me up. Because, listen, when I went to the White House, they had, remember they had a black dog. I don't know what type of dog it was. It was a black Bo. dog. Uh -huh. Right? Bo. So, I can always count on you. <laughs> <laughs> so, they had the cookies as the dog. And they had mac and cheese. Mean, Nigga, I ate mean? macaroni and cheese in the White House. Well, you can't tell you me nothing. What you talking about with the dogs? Niggas, the, cook, cookies. the cookies that they served in the White House was the shape, the shape of, of the shape of their dog. Okay, right. okay. Let me I, ask you this. And they had mac and cheese. I can describe the front door when you walk into the White House. Let me ask you this. I can, I can tell Do you for baby. Do you remember when Mariah Carey kicked everybody out of the studio for me? No. Oh shit. I don't remember. See, that shit regular to him. Hey, tell the story, bro. Dang. That's, that's the list. That's, that's, yeah, that. That's the list. <laughs> but, but can we get some more shots? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Let's make this a fucking <laughs> moment. Okay, let's go. Don't, listen, don't stop recording when my brother was drinking. We're home. We're home. Hey, Bart, hey, here's um, the bottle on the nail. Here's my question. Here's my question. Get here or you gonna start no, there? fuck that. Right, let's go. This let's is my go. question for Lewis. Let's go. This is when it's gonna spiral, Sam. Look, you see this <laughs> Yeah. Hey, we're not you editing nothing out. Cause this when this shit. Hey, yo, this when this shit get real. This when this shit get real. Lewis, what made you start Lou Willville? Mm. I feel like nobody ever asked you. We heard Meek Mill yeah, a, 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 describe a, this and you know, mm. mention this in great, songs. Great question. It's a great question. I just asked Woo. my brother. What made you start Lou Willville? <laughs> Lou Willville is like the grown up Neverland. There's everything there for you. No, no. Wait, oh, wait. No, no, no. Let me explain. Let me explain. Let me explain. No, nah, he caught that way. I said grown. But so we said, grown. I said grown. I said grown. I said grown. Let me explain. Because when you're as an adult, there's unlimited liquor. There's a bar by the pool. There's a fucking, you know, the, 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 it has a Ain't salt no water pool. Nigga. There, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, but, so but right. I said for adults. There's no everything for adults. There's everything for adults. The nigga got at least six food trucks lined up. You, can, right. you, want, you want a cheese steak? You want a, you want a brick oven pizza? You pizza, want, yeah. You want, what do you want? So it fits the vibe and you'll get there and they got the shit just laid out. Like, you, like, you know what I'm saying? And it's, it, it's really a vibe. Like, you feel me after part of it. Oh, it's really his party, but now, so, 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 can I put you on the spot? Let's talk about it. Because, I've, correct me if I'm wrong, we didn't do a Louisville last week. We didn't take over my show. <laughs> I'm the brother. But let's go, go ahead. We didn't do a Mr. Louisville 106 last year. and Parker's now, Mr. Underground Lounge. 
We did. Like, we, we did. Was, but it was very private. Because you, you set the tone. You said, I don't want to. Because, because I was in a place where um, I'm old enough. I just wasn't in a fucking mood. Right. So can we do the final little wheel? I just, this I just wasn't in the mood to have right. 700 people in my so back. Everybody really hey, so But it was so much so fun. Yeah, we really go crazy but did time. we still have fun? But look, I think we're going to bring up the biggest Lou Willville of all time. If me and you plan it, if you want to do the last Lou Willville ever. Let's oh, do it at your house. Uh, oh. but Nigga, we can rent somebody for shit. <laughs> <laughs> but look, let's do that. You don't deal with. You don't, 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 don't want to grow another land in his house. Look, I just want to make it. We like, we need everybody named Mama. They're like, right. we should do one last one. Like, you know what I mean? Because we both get older. We both venture off the different shit. I vibe, our frequency getting different, but I think we should do one. You know the last. amazing thing about Louisville? Right. It really hinges on if I fucking feel like it. And that's how you felt last year. Yeah. So I, I felt like that's it. really it. Yeah. yeah. I got sponsors. Yeah. I got so many people on staff that help me yeah. make sure that party is what it yeah. is. Yeah. yeah. But if I don't feel like it, he won't do it. No, I'm Everybody telling you. understands. He I, told us on the group chat. Cause somebody else could be like 700 people in my house. That's lit. That's lit. But he's like, oh, I, that's I, I hate, I hate to dampen the move, but this is at a time where crime was so high in Atlanta yeah, last it was, year, bro. It was. And it was. I, and we got a post on the city. You know your hometown, right? Yeah. You know where you live. Yeah. You kind of understand where it's coming from. Yeah. I didn't know where it was coming, coming from. from. Yeah. I didn't know what the yeah. energy was. I didn't know what was happening, yeah. and I didn't want to invite that energy my into my crib. Yeah, it was real. Because we gon' we gon' fight force with force. Absolutely. You yeah. understand when Absolutely. you at a, when you at somebody's house, my house is a landmark. Yeah. Everybody know where I live. So if you're not coming with the right intentions, we're gonna meet you with that intention. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I didn't I didn't want to set the stage for that type of energy. It never and so yeah. long story short, I decided to go. My favorite new face was their moment was the Lou Will party when it was already turned Ferrari DC fly guy was hosting that motherfucker. Then RIP school pulled up in that motherfucker. Shout out man. School. Shout out Trouble out pulled trouble. in there and turned this yeah. turned the ten to like a twenty. Yeah. We talk about off the top rope, the pool. Yeah, like, I, was yeah. there. I was there for that. that was I was his, there for that. that was I, was there. I was there. I was there. I was there. I was there. Damn. I was there. Face, I'm gonna tell you something real. Uh -huh. It didn't feel right in my soul. He wasn't gonna be there. That, I get that. I think nah, that, I get that. That I think that weighed on that was my a decision. Mm. That weighed on my decision because school took my party. And he made it his. Ooh. He made it his. And I was so perfectly fine with that because I'm laid back. Yeah. I don't like to be the center of attention. Drewski was there. Yeah. I don't like being Man. the center of attention. No side of school that, boy. pulled up and the atmosphere you went from it, a right? Six That's what I'm saying. To a 20. I'm not tripping. Soon as right? trouble mm -hmm. pulled up. Yeah, I mean, and yeah. I just couldn't find the motivation to go through with it with everything going on in the city, not well, having him. Good dude. Mm. It was just so much shit weighing on me, and I was just like, I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it a little bit more family and friends, yeah. and open it up it's, to it's, everybody. It's, it's crazy just speaking on trouble because I, you know, being in Atlanta, you know, you gonna rub shoulders and bump into everybody. And to this day, I don't know how we built our our little thing that we had for that time, but I, I, it was to the point where I kept every text. Like when I heard that news when it happened, I I went back in my thread and just read like every text message we ever had him. Want me to pull up and gamble with him or yeah. me? Matter of fact, I was shooting growing up hip hop. Yeah, we was. We were shooting growing up hip hop in Atlanta at the time. And I told him to pull up to set and then he pulled up, vibed, and cool dude, man. Like, yeah, man. definitely. You like, know what's amazing cool, about school? Cool dude, man. Fuck it. You, go, you can find 100 people with that same story. Yeah. But Louisville uh, lives as its own entity. Right. Man. And school has so much to do with that, bro. I feel like this moment is so dope, right? Like, I don't delete shit. So when I was telling you, when I built my rapport with bro, the shit is just crazy, just like reading it like, cause his his, his texting is different. If you don't know him, like when he text, he's talking about when he texts you, you can hear him text. In his voice, like he said, you hear it, you see it in his voice. Ain't no, ain't yeah. no, ain't no, ain't no last album from Wizzle gonna drop without no trouble. trouble on it. Ooh. Ooh. And you gotta really like say read his, his shit, <laughs> and then this will say me, he sent me some shit. We ain't gotta talk about this, but I'm like, some, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like this Damn. is. And he, his, his language is so shit. He, he, he Atlanta, man. Like, I, yeah. he's somebody that's definitely truly missing the city. Fuck with trouble. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Motherfucker, you. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, I know this wait, story. Wait, I was here. Hold on, yeah, wait, wait a minute. Wait, wait. You said you don't do yeah, shit. Wait a minute. I'm moving my chair back. Yeah. Fuck you. 
<laughs> We're going viral, bitch. <laughs> Fuck Wait. you. Spank, you don't remember this? Oh, I, remember I do. It. I remember Vividly. It. I remember. it started at the goddamn State Farm Arena. Yeah. I walked back there. Kevin had a show. Mm -hmm. Love the show. Mm -hmm. I'm done with this show. No, we was all there. <laughs> no, we was all there. I'm done with yeah. the chair. Right. We're all there. <laughs> So we go backstage after the show. Set the stage. We go out. We, we, we go back. We, we go back call. Kevin is. We in your city. We gonna do it like this. Uh, are you talking shit? <laughs> they they <laughs> always do the right, reach. You, you wanna talk shit? We in your city. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. So he does his shit, right? Cool. Not a problem. So Bart, like, I think you were talking a little too fast, but I don't think you really understand what's going on. I'm like, fuck that shit. Then we get a little ten piece. I know with Kevin might even get a little 25, 30. Nigga sold out, he sold out state for him, so he might do 100. So I'm gonna keep it through, I'll do a little 10, 15,000. This is so niggas, we ain't playing. Right. We come in here in this fucking booth. That was the booth. Oh, Rest in peace, takeoff, because yeah, Quavo take and Takeoff, that was the last time I seen Takeoff, he was yeah. with us. Yeah. So the money comes out, it comes in a section. I'm like, damn. Oh, this nigga, what's up, buddy? So this nigga Kevin, I'm like, oh, this nigga Kevin, wow. Oh, smooth. How you doing? Right, no, he transitioned. <laughs> he told you he so, wear mini hats, bro. So, so, Kevin, so, 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 so Kev, the money comes. I'm like, oh, this nigga is going crazy. Doing crazy. Passing me money. I'm like, oh, 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 this is love. I'm throwing the shit. I get somebody to take off. Yo ass got a tab. Pass some money to play off. <laughs> Kevin, do this. See you later. Walks out. They all walk out. The motherfucker bring me the motherfucker tab, bro. I was too drunk to read it. Let me tell you what hit, what hit, when it hit me. Uh, you read that motherfucker. You I did. didn't want to read it. I wake book. up the next morning. Hold it in the light. I wake up the next morning. My aunt called me. What did you do on the Amex? I said, what? I'm lit. I'm waking up. What you mean? Sixty-five, $60,000? I said, no, that, that's not right. <laughs> I said, I, I went out with Kevin. That's Kevin gave right. me money. She said, no, 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 no. Kevin charged me money. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, are these like the comedic games that they play like amongst they crew? Like, yeah. fuck with each other? Because yeah. that was crazy. But I, I thought you could afford it. And I did. And you did. And you know what's crazy? But you know what? Somebody did that to Kevin, probably. Money you know, got? I got the that's proof. The game that shit hurt. Say, it say, did hurt. That shit hurt. <laughs> yeah. I didn't give a fuck. Yeah. I, I didn't want to. Listen, I said 15. I said I'll do 15. I would do 15. Kevin do 25. We, we, we close to 40. Yeah. We gonna Wait. fuck this booth up. Yeah. What the fuck? I, I sponsored that shit. Nah. No. Meanwhile, yeah. while all of this is going on. Oh my god. Ooh, I'm just the coordinator. <laughs> I'm making sure. You, you got hit with a bill too, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. Buy, oh, they got my, you? No, I, I deserve my bill. Oh, oh I'm going to show you my bill. I'm going to show you what the fuck my, you did. No, because no, I copied one of my Amex No, I copied no. you. Know he said he did? doesn't delete what? nothing. He I, got the receipt. I got the receipt. Let me tell you. That Bow Wow shit, niggas, I think I'll be lying. Fuck you. I don't fucking lie. You be lying. No, I don't. Do you? Hey, you be lying, motherfucker. No, I'm opening up my motherfucking Amex right now. Hey, face. That night, I knew it was some big money shit going on, right? I caught my deuces. I caught the plea. I said, you know what? I walked in. I said, hey, give me 5,000 ones, five bottles, close my tab. I'm going to find that shit. Hey, We're going to post that. Breaking news. Breaking news. Look, magic behind us. Magic. 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 Let's take a shot. Look. Magic got time. Look, Magic got time. Hey, we just watched oh, business being conducted. Magic said, hey, there you go. get your ass out there. Y'all want to shout it out? Come on, man. You don't want to get high off his own supply. Yeah, you know, my brain, my brain. I'm already puckering this shit. Yeah, I'm a hog, I have my shit punk little boy. Oh, <laughs> that's straight geese, y'all drinking. That's how you supposed to do it. I don't know how y'all can do that. You're a bad boy now. You like that red wine. Yeah, I know something slow and easy. Mm. Don't get me punk glasses. So if I walk in with some wine, mm. I can do my thing. Right. You know, but that shit damn make you. We'll get there. I said African in me. That bring out that. that <laughs> <shit> <laughs> make me oh, wait. Oh, <laughs> shit. Yo, roll up. Is this part of the show? Roll up. <laughs> Can we smoke yeah, yeah, one? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> can we? Oh, can we? We can't smoke, right? 
I don't want to yes, fuck up no, no sponsors, but no, I No, yes, we can smoke, but you're not going to smoke that little baby. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're not going to smoke that little baby on my shit. You're not about hey, to do the underground lounge hey, like that. Hey, the ropes. Miles Bro, say, I got a new one. The man said he wanted to smoke. <laughs> oh, God, chill. Hey. No, 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 no. Hey, yo, man. No, no. They don't understand. Is this my close-up? Okay, this, this is this about to be the most unorthodox episode I've had. <laughs> Listen, uh -uh. this is how you're supposed to do hey, it. See, hey, they, they want to stuff the blunts brother? and make them are all. You, are you with your it, brother? It's not about the amount of weed you put today? in it. If the weed is good, you ain't got to stuff all that shit. That's why they're going to be smoking up. Carlos Miller say, man, man you can't man. get higher. You ain't got that don't mean nothing. You don't get higher. Ain't no grabber in that motherfucker. I don't smoke no grabber. I got grabber in my shit. My shit's stronger than yours. Oh, oh, what is this? Did Lou ever tell you when I beat him in one-on-one? -on -one? Whoa! Oh, where is going? Oh, where is going? I did not hear this story. Uh -uh. Not hear this you story. never heard this? Uh oh, it's the first time Lou got serious in the last half. Do I got a jumper? Don't lie. Do I have a jumper? If we was going to seven to zero, yeah. I'll Maybe be seven to four. Seven to zero. That's, that's false. Seventy times. That's false. Ooh. That's false. That's false. Look, <laughs> if I was wide open in the corner, would you not trust to pass the ball to me? I'm gonna knock it down. Do I not have a jumper? Don't do that. Do I not have a jumper? Do I not have a jumper? You ever watch an NBA game and you see a nigga do this? Don't count me for the Kobe shit. <laughs> no, no. I'm wide open in the corner. You don't trust to pass me the ball, Luke? You said you're you a You know I got a jumper, bro. I have a jumper. I don't have a jumper. Spank, you, you ever been challenged jumper. like this on That's the show crazy. yet? That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. You, you know it. Neighborhood bro. Jumper. You, Oh wait! You got neighborhood jumper like, <laughs> like if we just hey, look around on a, on a Saturday, right? Spank, yeah. Spank. Do you know how many NBA niggas been to that studio and been on that gym and lost to me? Hey man, put uh, that I, shit in a fucking no. ashtray. This you? shit is hitting, nigga. And I like my blunt. I didn't light it again. <laughs> There's a lottery. <laughs> like, oh, I got it. I got. Do I got it? No. <laughs> This is about to be the wildest episode they've ever had. Please <laughs> help me. No show has been like this, right? No. Okay. No, not at all, bro. It's Magic no, City, right? It's Turn Magic City. City. Oh, my God. It's Don't leave City. me alone, nigga. Hey, it's Put Magic that City. You ain't that much taller than me. You, you embarrassing us. <laughs> We're going to play one-on-one. We old now, man. I'm going to get you. <laughs> nigga, I play, I play, I play, I play Kobe. I play Kobe. That means I'm ready, nigga. No, and you know what Kobe did? That was, nah, but you know I ain't gonna lie. Did? I'm not gonna Kobe, lie. Kobe put one of the most legendary quotes on you I've ever heard. He what? said, that shit different, huh? You said, what? He said, being in the water with that shark and watching him on Discovery Channel. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> That's what Kobe said. To I've you. seen all your, 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 your Kobe stories. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. I played a lot of NBA niggas. I played Jason. Get I, your I played. Seat back. Come on, man. I don't, I got to. Is it proper etiquette? Come on, nigga. <laughs> See, I can fuck with you like that because you my real friend. I ain't just no nigga in a But look, I'm not gonna lie. When I played Kobe one on one, I really thought like, he was gonna tell you it easy. It's delirium. No, no, I, no, no. I, I yeah. talk because when I play certain NBA niggas, they play, but you know what I mean? It's they cool. They play around laughing. It's cool. So I, I, that's what I expected. It's like Kobe and no, listen, like, uh, listen, like, uh, listen, uh, listen, uh, listen, uh, listen, uh, listen, uh, listen, uh, listen uh, to me. Right, right. If that's what NBA defense is, I would never make it. I didn't like that. Like, I don't make it. No, but I know he went. But listen, God rest his soul. <laughs> but look, but look, but look, but look. But, but, but Lou, you're not gonna guard me like that. You're not gonna guard me like that. Ain't no way you're gonna guard me. I'm not threatened by you, Val. I just you want should you be. to get your picture. Oh, you, you should be. You should be. I'm gonna go at you. But if I was in the league and he was in the league, I would call him like, yo, bro, you know what? Nigga, let me get four home. Let me get four. Do we need like to brothers, set right? this game up? No, so you know, I can't let him get four points off. Yeah. I make a living from this shit too. Yeah. I ain't gonna be the motherfucker that left Bow Wow in the fall for me. Why would we put you in the fall? Why would we let you be our Donovan Mitchell? Right. You let Bow Wow score. I am not gonna be So if you were still in the lead and I'm I'm checking in. And we brothers. Our history. He was. Gwinnett, all this shit. And look, I'm going to tell, listen, off the top, I'm guarding you. I'm going to want to guard him. 
You don't want it, dog. Yeah. Oh, man, I'm going to lock that nigga up. I'm going to lock him up. I got 34 liter house, man. I'm going to lock real quick, him Bale. up. Spank. I know, bro. Like, I'm, I, this is my brother. I right. know him, bro. I will beat him up. <laughs> I will annoy the fuck out of him, bro. He would not scroll oh, me like shit. that. Talking. He going to get in your head, Lou. He would not scroll me like that. He going to get in your head. There's no way, bro. You know how I get down That's like me fucking up his concert. That's different, though. Lou. 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 I bet out of eight niggas, one nigga will believe that I could beat you. <laughs> Where? <laughs> we got eight niggas in here. Five. 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 That's crazy. Five. Five. That's crazy. That. Bart. Bart. Bart believe it. No, Bart. Don't. Bart, I know you first. Say the wrong thing, we're not friends anymore. One on one. Nigga, me and Lou shooting. That's crazy. <laughs> Yo, that's, that's crazy. Two. That's two. That's oh, yeah, you're next. All right. All right. <laughs> what you, who That's you got, face? crazy. Oh, that don't go. That's three. We got crazy. three. We got four. I guess my nothing? Yeah. We got four. Mel. Mel. Hold up. Mel. His Mel. <laughs> Mel. He was a silent boy. Silent. He oh, yeah, he's me and Lou. You the guy he played. I, I don't beat NBA count. niggas. I'm keeping count. I ain't a count of I don't beat NBA niggas. This my dog. You think I'm going to smoke Lou in a shootout, bro? Bro, we shooting from where we shooting from. Regulation three, nigga. I'm gonna smoke, Stop bro. Me and Luke, bro. Thank you. One. But he, got one. Got he got his one. He got his one. He got his one. I fuck with him. Kenny. One. Kenny. <laughs> Kenny. Kenny. <laughs> Kenny. <laughs> no, you got your one. You got your one. Can we get a close up on Kenny? No. <laughs> Kenny. Kenny. No. Me I... or Luke? Not one on one. <laughs> shooting. Me and Luke. <laughs> I don't care what it is. He Kenny, got his one. Kenny, yeah. he won't stand a chance. One, <laughs> Yo, get out of there with your one, Bob. Crazy. Get out of there with your one, Bob. Get out of there with your one. Did you see what I did to Alonzo Ball? No, did you see what I did to Alonzo Ball? Yo, what I did to Alonzo Ball? Yo, yo. Ask him what I did to Alonzo Ball. Ask him. Score him. Ask him. Nah. Hey man, what did I do to Lonzo Ball? This episode I don't know. right here. What the fuck did you do to Lonzo Ball? It's a different he type came of episode. Outside and got a rude awakening up. They played the Hawks. I beat him. Lonzo Ball Shoot out. had half a gallon of tequila. But, no, 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 he didn't. And guess what? It made it on ESPN. It made it on everything. Because I beat oh, so the nigga. Look this oh, wait, wait, wait. We can look this right up. Now, I beat the nigga with no shoes. I beat him in my socks. Disrespectful for a nigga that don't play in the league. For a nigga who play in the league. You disrespectful. I will beat you with no bro. No, no, oh, say no bro. sneakers. Bro. They ain't about to say no sneakers. Bro, Google it. Wow. I beat Lonzo Ball no, and Southside said, with no sneakers on. Uh, we got on. past that. Then you said you would do what? <laughs> I'm going to beat you in the shootout, bro. You, no, 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 no. I want you to put all that extra shit on there. I will that beat you in the shootout. In your socks. In no, my socks. No bro. shoes. No shoes. I beat NBA niggas before like What? What? I love you. That's why I feel so confident because we're, we're so close as friends. What is LaMelo? What is LaMelo? What is LaMelo? Who's who? Lonzo. Lonzo. Bow Wow Lonzo. 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 Type it in. YouTube. What is it? In my socks. On ESPN. Listen, I never been. How a nigga never been drafted? Made it to ESPN. How? You Bow Wow. No. You're a fucking Calvin Cambridge. All right. That's how you on ESPN. I like that. You're a fucking athletic prowess. Hey, what did it say, Spank? It says Lonzo Ball lost a Bow Wow in a shooting contest. With no, ESPN. with no, with socks on. Word. In a three-point contest. What did it say, Spank? Why you look that up? Because this, he posts to. I thought he, I thought he was they captain. Never, we got to see if no he's captain. Ain't no Bow Wow challenge. I told you, Lou, I love you. You're my brother. But if I swear to God, I wish I was right, in the before league. Before we go, can I, I ask you? I'm going to the league. Can I ask you? I would, I, no, no, bro, no, you wouldn't no, score. No, no. You wouldn't have a chance. Before we go, before we go. Why the fuck? Did you post that jet with that fucking car knowing you wasn't on that shit? <laughs> okay, I actually you. Come on, tell me that and I'm going to leave. Talk shit about this boy. Come <laughs> <laughs> look. Come on, bigger, baby. <laughs> yeah, fuck out of here. Yeah, welcome I, back. After this camera's off, I'm going to party. How did it start? How did it start? Okay, so. You, you fucking around. So this is how it started. So. I was on my way to New York. Yeah. I was on my way to New York. Um, I was starting promo for um, my reality show, in season one, yeah. right? So, Growing up honestly, yep. Yeah, okay. On like no bullshit. Yeah. I was in first class. BM always told me, he said, "Yo, bro, stop posting them pictures." Man, fuck all that. Before COVID, so I'm faced out. Right. You learn. You you learn a hard lesson and not to lie. I learned. I learned. 
the hard way. But every rap nigga exaggerates, yeah. lies, mm -hmm. not to you make it, fake it till right? you make it. it. You was, you was, you was, I got caught. Who's first? I got caught. Yeah. So nigga ain't tripping. So I'm the first class. I'm on Delta. I'm away to New York. We about to do the press conference. Don't say the first though. No, 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 no. It's Drake. Soldier boy, the first with everything. Soldier boy, first class. Oh, you said first class. You said you was the first. Okay, all right, right. So. I'm like, all right, I don't want motherfuckers that know how I'm moving, whatever, whatever, right? right? On God, so I posted the picture, boom. Didn't think nothing of it. I land in New York, I check into the hotel. By the time I'm in the hotel, my boy like, nigga, this shit going crazy. I still don't feel no effects. Right. That's how the bubble shit happened to me. I don't care, yeah. I don't care. So I get to the um, to the premiere, and the CEO of WeTV, he didn't even tell me. On the big ass screen as I made my speech, he goes so bad, I wanna, I wanna show you how he got here. We flew him. And them niggas put a big ass bone behind me and put Wee TV on the plane and had me like sitting there in front of the whole audience yeah. and I die laughing. I said, if the CEO of Wee TV, this shit must be big. So I get back to Atlanta. <laughs> and I'm telling you, this was like the playoff, this was like the words and the rocks was going at each other, yeah. whatever year that yeah. was. Yeah. Uh -huh. So I'm so embedded in the game, I'm, I'm, I'm still not even on my, I see Snoop, 50, everybody making memes. I'm still not feeling that shit because I'm not even checked in. Right. So I still don't know how big this shit is until like, I had to go on a promo run and go back to New York and do like the Daily News and right, all that shit. That's all they wanted to fucking talk about. Was that bullshit? I'm like, why? Is, but that let me know on some real shit, and I never said this before. That just let me, that just let a nigga know how big of a celebrity he really was. Because had it been anybody else, it would have ran died, into a certain died, height and died, died off. Mm -hmm. But the fact that every nigga bought in and da 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 and found right. it, I'm like, oh shit, oh a nigga really like that. I ain't know. Because sometimes when you living in your own truth and you living in your own shit. We really don't know how big we is. So this day, I don't know how big I am. If I can ask one question, so you said you would probably take loot. If it's one person on here or two you that you think you could, you could beat, beat? one on one, or maybe one. Or I, who you think you could beat? Who would you? you no, 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 don't play no, no. like that. I play, I played Jason okay. Kidd one on one in the Spectrum in Philly. Okay. But he was one on one that took it easy though. Stop. He took it easy. I was this young. Somebody. He took it easy. So who, who would you? Who would you beat? You think you could beat? Right now, right now. He ain't gonna kill me for this because I just posted more answers. I could oh. be Chuck right now. Oh, my and God. ladies and gentlemen, With that that's gonna said. conclude another what? episode what? of the Underground Lounge. I can beat him. AI, wow. yo, I just wow. saw, yo, bro. Wow. What you say? We drink it? Wow. 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 I just saw an interview with AI said he, he wow. ran a race. Wow. He, he, he doesn't even stretch. I just thank you for coming bro, out. I just watched the interview. Thank AI said he don't stretch. He out. said he's never stretched. Thank you. And when the fuck did you start stretching, nigga? <laughs> nigga, thank last, you for last coming Millennium out. Tour, nigga. Hey, <laughs> that's when. Thank you for coming out. This has been another episode of the Underground Lounge. As absolutely. you can see, we are absolutely at home. Yeah. This is where we kick it. This yes. is where we deal. Yeah. This is Spank Horton. I'm yes. Lou Will. This is Bow Wow, New Face. Thank you all for your country. Country. Damn, motherfucker, are you? Whoa. You do that, it, motherfucker. Thank you, you, do it. Thank you, you for your contribution. You do it. We're at the world famous Magic City, and yes. what Lou is trying to tell everyone at home is that he's about to indulge in some adult activity. <laughs> you guys can no longer film this shit. It's a fucking rap. We're gonna drink more, get more money, and hey, I don't know what comes out of this. Who's winning tonight, Bob? Uh, yeah, Fuck off. <laughs>